Elysium was transformed into a haven of learning thanks to a remarkable institution known as the Science Fair. A chance for the student body to come together in the name of research and progress. <laughs> While some did the bare minimum, and others preferred razzmatazz over raw data, I set out to save humanity from deadly asteroids. And the winner of the Medford High School Science Fair is... Sue Ann Ludlow! You've got to be kidding me, Chilly. You people are crazy! You're celebrating mediocrity! 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 I'll be in my room. Oh, come on, Shelly. You still got an honorable mention. Stop reminding me. Oh, I hate to see him so upset. Oh, give him a little time. He'll calm down. Fatal, fatal! The F word. <laughs> He's real mad. I know, but these are big feelings for a little boy. They're feelings everybody has. It's part of growing up. I guess. Poodle poo! Okay, somebody's got to teach this kid to swear. It's embarrassing. So while an animal cell has a membrane, a plant cell has a membrane and a cell wall. Who cares? Sheldon, what are you doing? Being disrespectful, sir. Oh, how come? Because I'm disillusioned with the school system. Georgie, do you know what's going on with him? Actually, I'm trying to ignore it. Well, get your feet off the desk. What if I don't? I was sent to see Principal Peterson. I let him know you're here. You do that. Ma'am. Sheldon Cooper's outside. Attention students and faculty. Oh, no. This is Sheldon Lee Cooper. What the hell? We're taught that hard work pays off, but that's not true. I came up with the solution to save Earth from killer asteroids and lost the science fair to Sue Ann Ludlow and her frizzy hair machine. But it wasn't just me who lost. We all lost. Wake up, people. The system's broken. I blame MTV. Luckily, my parents can't afford cable. We can afford it. I urge you all to rise up. Ooh. They can't send everyone to the principal's office. Chew gum in class. Use a number one pencil. Go nuts. This is Sheldon Lee Cooper signing off. Live long and prosper. I can't believe you sent him to bed without his dinner. That's right. On spaghetti and hot dog night. That's rough. He's got to learn. Let's talk about something else. Georgie, how was your day? My brother told the entire school we can't afford cable. Oh, right. I've been thinking, and there's something I'd like to say. Unless it's an apology, I don't want to hear it. I'm quitting science. Not an apology. Hey, <laughs> welcome back. Thank you for seeing us on such short notice, Doctor. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> Sheldon, I remember you. Do you remember me? I remember everything. Now, Sheldon, I understand you've changed your mind about being a scientist. And you're going to say I can't? No, I think that's great. You do? Yeah. I think it's important to keep your options open. Hey, we're all done. How'd it go? Great. I feel a lot better. Well, that's just wonderful. So you're going back to science? No. In fact, I'm going as far away from science as possible. I plan to pursue the arts. What kind of arts? I've decided to become an actor. Of course you have.